Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Spyro 2 Gateway to Glimmer. Let's continue the game. Okay, load game as always, and we're now at 93% completion. Excellent. So, um, that last video we did um, managed to get 4% worth of completion done. Okay, the adventure continues. Yeah, because I was at, yes, I know, uh, yeah, um, I was at 89% at the big. At the beginning of the last video, and now at 93%. Okay, so we were about to do uh, the Cloud Temples level. Let's go there now, uh, just over here. And in theory, this is the last one I need to do before um, battling Ripto. I have to talk to Professor again every time. Yes, I know, the orbs managed to um, make the level appear. Okay, here we go to Cloud Temples. Let's do this. In theory, the last level we need to do before we do Ripto. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a speedway level on this one. Oh no. Oh, they're not the enemies, right? Those things are, right? Look mad. They remind me of the faces of the wolves on the first Tomb Raider game. You know, when you kill them, they always have the same expression on their faces and just look sort of. Mad like grr. Anyway, let's go. Talk. I used to be one of Avalar's most powerful magicians until that big warlock over there stole my wand. He and his friends have used the magic to take over the city. Hey, brilliant. No flag for you. Right. Okay, he's uh, sorted it for me. Let's get all the gems first. Yes, everything. Okay, he's happy now. Reminds you of the one of the levels on uh, not really level, but on the on the TV program Nightmare, the one where you have to cross that, where they have to cross the bridge that's made out of these hexagons with numbers. That's a good program, Nightmare. Oh no, it, they should bring it back. I don't know why they don't. I did one time meet the creator of Nightmare, uh, Tim Child. I met him once, and, and he told me that um, uh, that he gets 50 emails a day asking him to bring back Nightmare. <laughs> um, I talked to him about uh, the other series he did, uh, Virtually Impossible, as well. Although um, he had, he admitted that wasn't as good as Nightmare, I think. And I happen to agree with him. Uh, we have those things again. Let's get these first. Um, I don't know why he makes a swallowing noise, because he, yeah, he doesn't actually swallow it, he just sort of puts it in his mouth. How dare you! Now you may die. Just need the right angle for this. Got him. You little git. Right. Oh, no, not again. Yes, um... So I met the creator of Nightmare. Um... Yeah, and... Uh, uh, that's what he told me. I didn't really ask for his autograph or anything, but... But, yeah... That was ten years ago. He was old then. He must be like really old now. Stop doing that. Oh no. Oh, there's a secret bit here. Okay, fantastic. Let's go. Oh, there's a whirlwind thing. 
No. I need to go over there, obviously. Good. Okay, zap me, Zoe. What are you doing? No. Okay, he's opening up that mouth, presumably. Get on with it, come on. Oh no, he's just sort of exploding it. Oh, uh, that works. Oh good, full health and a life, good. Makes up for the one I lost. Ow. Stop laughing. Is that a sheep? No, give me that health. Let's use one of these. Those enemies keep getting me. Need a big arc here. Yep, that'll do. Beautiful. Perfect. First first go. Might as well kill the other enemies uh, with that as well. We'll save on health and effort. Oh no, I'm over, oh no, I'm over there now. How do I get over there? I think they expect you not to shoot them, and so it, it, after that little cutscene, it puts me back there. I think that's how that. I think that's why that happened. It's annoying actually, because I was hoping to. Uh, I was hoping to shoot both of them. Talking, no, you're just sort of happy. There's nothing wrong with being happy. Um, that's not very easy for me to be happy, to be honest. But that's how it is. I do envy people who can be happy more easily. That's something that sort of evaded me um, throughout my life. Anyway, enough about that. Go away, don't laugh. All right. Talk. Our bell towers have been invaded by trolls. You might be able to help, but you can't beat them without activating this power-up. Okay, we need 21 enemies. How many have we at the moment? 18. Right, just three more. Th three more enemies, and then we and then we can do that. Uh, let's shoot this annoyance. Need a good arc. Yep, yeah, that'll do. No, oh, no, it was a bad arc. Oh no, there's no more thing. I have to do it the hard way. Ow! Go away. That's twenty. That's nineteen enemies, rather. About, about to say twenty-two, but that's what I need. No, that's one more than what I need. I need uh, uh, twenty-one. I have nineteen now. Alright, yeah, did we get that? Is there any more health I can get? I think there was some over here, wasn't there? Oh, loads of it. Yeah, okay, get them all then, get them all. That one might be a life. No. It was worth a try though. What oh, was a big person here? Let's get these and talk to him. Okay, talk. I'm a secret agent. I'm going to my secret hideout. Only members of my secret club are allowed to go there. I'm not leaving unless you hide behind that tree so you can't see me. <laughs> Hide behind the tree, follow Agent Zero, 4 out of 5 difficulty. I vaguely remember this. Yeah, he keeps looking behind him, that's right. And you have to keep hiding behind the tree like that, yeah. If, if he sees you, then you have to start again. You have to hurry up. Keep behind the tree, that's it. Otherwise he'll see you. That's it, yeah. I'm doing this first time. All the famous last words, like always. Yeah, I, I vaguely remember this. You have to keep hiding behind the tr uh, the trees, otherwise he, he will see you, and then you have to start again. It's really annoying. If you play the game Black and White, there's a on the PC. There's a bit there's a bit on that game like this. We have to follow this sort of. You have to follow a shaman. Oh dear. Oh, that certainly means he's going to see me. You'll hear my screams. 
Ah. Yeah. I just need to start. I'll show you what happens. Yeah. So if you if you seize you like that. I'll show you what happens if he sees you behind the tree. That that's what that's what happens if you touch him. Yeah, there you go. You see, that's why you have to you have to uh, you have to hide behind the trees. But yeah, there's a bit on the game black and white. We have to follow this. Uh, he's like a shaman, and if and if he sees you following him, then he won't be able to get the secret or whatever it is. I really like that game. I haven't played it in ages. I've never played black and white too. It's made by the same people who did Populous on the Master System, as, which is, in my opinion, the best Master System game, so that explains why it's a good game. Quick. That's it. Now, there's always a tree for you to hide behind. Oh, screw you. Ah, uh, yes, uh, it's, it's gonna take a while. I knew it was famous last words. I knew it was. I knew I wouldn't be able to do this first time. It's one of those there. I'll get that later. Oh, I touched him. Yeah, sure. Secret agent, go on in. Yes, I'm not looking. Go on in. Close. All the way over here. Good. Right, next bit. Up here. Nab that. Thank you. Oh no! I just missed the tree. I'm gonna to go to the tree on the right. Actually, it seems easier. I'll try the tree on the right. You're one of those people whose eyebrows aren't attached to their head. How is that possible? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, you're like an eyebrow ventriloquist, uh, sort of moving them. Even though they're not attached to you, whatever. I don't know. I'm, I'm just trying to make up an analogy. Um, eyebrow venture, of course. Right. Oh no. Oh. For... <sighs> you are annoying. I'm not... And you sound mildly retarded. I'm not... Yes, I know. Oh, I keep doing that instead of hiding. He only goes if you hide. One of the funniest things I ever, one of the funniest things I ever listened to, if you know the film The Room, that was close, if you know the film The Room uh, with Tommy Wiseau, whatever his name is, um, there's a other, there's a other actor in it um, with whom he played, well, um, to whom he keeps passing in American football, and there was an interview with the actor, well, uh, uh, with the quote-unquote actor Tommy Wiseau, and he says about that that other actor, he, um, he says. I think he might be retarded a little bit. <laughs> it's really funny, honestly. See if you can find it on YouTube. Oh no, this one. Good. What? Oh. Blimey. All of a sudden, he's really sensitive. Yeah, um, he sort of says, I think he might be retarded a little bit or something. It's really funny. Uh, 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 the film itself is really funny as well, but um, I think everyone's seen it by now. You are tearing me apart, Lisa. Yeah, but there's this interview where he, where he calls the other actor retarded. <laughs> Even though his acting is terribly retarded. Oh, I nearly, I nearly did it again. I nearly fell off the edge there. 
Yes, go over to the other place, quick. Yes, got it. Alright. Alright, screw you. Yes, go in your secret hiding place or whatever. What? You managed to get here without following me? You must be a member of my secret club after all. Here, take the secret decoder. It will allow us to send secret messages. Is it? Uh, yes, it's an orb. How do you do it? Uh, this is for being annoying. I'll burn you and charge you. No, he doesn't do anything else. Yes, that door only opens if you follow him. Okay, let's nab the gems. Yeah, so you have to use both of the trees. I suppose in theory you could go to the tree on the left and, and then just wait there, but... Um, it was a bit more awkward, so I used both trees. Where am I? Oh, phew. That's just down there again. That's where I saw him earlier, so we're done with that place. Oh no, we haven't done with this yet. Let's nab these before I forget about them. Yeah, so how the hell can the, um, Tommy Wiseau call anyone retarded when, uh, when he's the world's worst actor? Okay, that's where that bloke was, okay. Okay, so we're done with that place now. Let's continue up here. There's some gems up there. Still don't have enough enemies for that thing. No, we'll have to go up there later somehow. Right, let's go over here. There's more of those things. Yes, go away. Good. Up here. Oh no. Oh. Yes, don't laugh, otherwise you'll die. Oh no, he's alright now. That's just, I mean, uh, that's just the, uh, my friend. Spyro, you have freed our city from the claws of those evil warlocks. Please, take this orb. I foresee that it will help you on your journey. Yeah, a warlock is someone who practices black magic, I think. I think that's the definition of a warlock. It isn't just a, uh, um, a synonym for a wizard, it's... Uh, warlocks are usually evil. Well, they're, they're supposed to be evil. Okay, so we're done with that now. That's the flag burns, as I always do. Right. Um, loads more gems. When we have all the enemies, and we, and we need one more orb. So that's all the enemies done. So we can't really get any more enemies. Is that, yeah, 23 out of 23, yeah. So we just needed two, uh, two shy of maximum. Let's just go and get uh, some... Uh, Get some health and then uh, and then go and do this. Okay. Okay. So talk to me. Our mystical bell towers have been overrun by trolls, and the bells haven't been rung in days. I tried a fire spell on the trolls, but it just made them crazier. This super freeze power up will chill out the trolls, but we really need the bells to ring. They'll ring if you charge into them. Um, we need to freeze the trolls and charge the bells to ring them, and it's five out of five difficulty. Okay, let's get the freeze power up. Uh, where do I go now? I don't know what to do. Am I able to fly? Nope. Oh no, right, oh, it's made them appear here. Okay, okay. Alright, okay, yeah. I, was a bit, uh, I nearly started. F oh, well trying to fly there that would have killed me so I assumed it did because of the last level I mean the last video um, or the level I did on the last video uh, well will this open this no doesn't do anything okay where are the rest of the oh oh I, oh I get it right we need to climb up there okay I, I get it right yeah, the ice cubes, or rather the trolls, always turn into the same size uh, ice cubes so we can climb up. That's fair enough. Okay, let's use these. There we go. Nope, they're melting. Okay, 
Oh, there's another thing there. That's good. Right. We don't have to keep going back then. No, we'll have to do that again, yeah, because we need him, don't we? At least they open the things as well. The freezing things, I mean. Let's just get another power up. Uh, uh. Right, is it here? Oh, I get it, right, okay. We need to freeze this one there. Yeah, there we go, right. Quick. Oh no, I've screwed it up. Yeah, we need to we need to shoot him. Come here. Just at the top there. Okay, let's do this again. Okay, good. Right, next bit. There we go. Right, that's one bell done. Oh no, there's more over there. Oh, I didn't see that. Uh, um, I don't know why I'm saying oh no, because there weren't something over there. Oh, he's um, he's helpfully gone over here. Right. Quick, running out of time. Charge that shit. There we go, part of my language. I suppose you want an orb for doing that. Well, I'm afraid not. There's still one bell left. You can get to it by using the whirlwind behind me. I wasn't expecting the orb because I haven't done all three of them. Although when I started talking to you, I actually thought to myself I actually misread the three as a two. I mean the two as a three. Okay, let's go up, do this last bell. Ah, oh, I need both of them. I'll deal with the gems later because they're annoying. Yeah, quick. Need to use this one, climb onto this one. It's not too bad. This isn't a five out of five. This is easy. Thanks, Spyro. I didn't think you could do it. Here, have a souvenir from the Mystic City gift shop. <laughs> hey, let me go to this gift shop. There's bound to be a key ring. I collect key rings, by the way. That's something about me that you probably didn't know. Um, in fact, you definitely didn't know because I've never told you. Yeah, so I don't really collect them per se. Like, in my younger days, I used to like go around getting like loads and loads of keyrings. But since the advent of eBay, in theory, I could just go on eBay and get like a thousand keyrings and never stop. Um, so now what I do is, if I ever go to a place or like a tourist place or anything like that, place I've never been to before, um, I usually buy a keyring um, as a souvenir, and I'll put it. Um, and then I'll put it inside my shoe box that has all my keyrings in it and stuff. And and if I ever get a key, if I ever find a keyring or I'm given a keyring or I get a keyring out of a Christmas cracker or something like that, then I'll put it in there. But I won't go out of my way to get them. That's what I'm trying to say. Because in theory, if I did that, I would have thousands and thousands. I only have about um, a few hundred. So I used to be really, in, and actually more than a few hundred. I imagine I have about five, yeah, about 500, I think. So. If I um, if I went out of my way to, if I went out of my way to get kings, I'd have thousands and thousands, and it just and they wouldn't mean anything because I'd just be getting them off eBay and stuff. So uh, now all I do is is if I ever go on holiday or something like that, or if I visit like a museum, I'll always get a keyring, or if there's one out of a Christmas crack, or I find one. If I find one that's broken, I'll put a new keyring attachment on it. Um, and make it nice again, uh, you know. Uh, that's all I do with keyrings now, really. But I used to, I, I used to be really into it when I was younger. But it, it doesn't seem like there's much point anymore because, you know, because you can just get loads and loads of different varieties off eBay. There's no point. I mean, it's like when I was younger, I used to like collecting monsters in my pockets as well. And there's no point in doing that anymore because I could get the entire collection off eBay for, for probably like ten pounds. So there's no point in doing it anymore because they're not rare. They're only rare 
you know, uh, um, before the advent of eBay and stuff. Now with eBay and Amazon, you could get whole collections for uh, for very little, and there's not and there's no fun in doing it anymore. So, uh, so I've kept my keyring collection because it sort of like because uh, it sort of like has memories with it. But I very rarely add to it these days, unless I get given one or if I get one as a souvenir or in a Christmas cracker or something. That's all I do these days. Or, or if I make my own, like I find an old bit of like. Uh, a broken bit of a necklace. I, um, I think a few years ago I found a, a bit of a necklace, like a plastic bit of a necklace on a windowsill where I used to work and I thought, oh, it had a ring at the end of it. I thought, oh, I'll take that home with me and I'll put a keyring attachment to it. And it sort of, and it means something because it reminds me of where I used to work, it reminds me of, of where I found it and how I got it and I sort of made it myself almost. Well, not really, but I sort of... I sort of added a keyring bit to it. Sort of, sort of has meaning to me. I sort of rescued it. I didn't just uh, go on eBay and just order a load of them. I, you know, it has, it has meaning, and I put it in my collection because it sort of has, you know, um, sort of like a memento of uh, and a memory for me. So that's uh, 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 that's how I collect keyrings these days. Because if I wanted to, I could just get thousands and thousands of eBay and just be pointless. And then you can just end up adding a, a keyring attachment to anything. And making it a queuing as long as it has a hole in it, you know. So there's no point in collecting them just for the sake of collecting them these days. Anyway, so that was the last orb. We still need 40. No, uh, I can't count. Uh, 64 more gems. Where are they? Well, there's one in there. Um, there must be something over here. Oh no. Well, I screwed that up, didn't I? Yeah, I was wondering if there was a firework thing over there to open that other one. So I've rung all the bells. Is there anything? Oh, there's oh, there's a firework up there. Oh, I need these things. Oh, I get it. Oh, I did it both at the same time. Yeah, I need to get up here and then go around here. That was that was a good job. I died actually. I wouldn't have seen that. Did I make it? Yeah, I made it without even seeing. Yeah, here's the firework. I have to wait for this to run out there because I can't. I don't have any fire. It's very clever actually. I don't have any fire to uh, to set off the firework or firecracker as the Americans call it. Yes, yeah, so that's how I. Uh, that's how. Um, now, that's how I do keyring collecting now, because if, if I just kept on getting them off eBay, I'd end up with boxes and boxes of thousands of them that didn't have any meaning. I would just be off eBay, like, oh, 99p, oh, look, there's one shape like this, there's one like that. Or, uh, there's a Disney. I mean, if I got a Disneyland one, I've never been to Disneyland or Disney World or whatever, so there's no point in me getting a Disney World one off eBay, because I've never been there. I mean, I've been to at, at several museums, so... I have those ones because they have meaning, they remind me that I went to those places, they're the souvenirs that I got. And they're better than a pen because, uh, I didn't really mean to get off there, uh, and they're better than a pen because uh, yeah, cause a pen I would sort of feel obliged to use and then I'd think once it's run out that there isn't really much sort of justification for keeping it because it's run out if, if, if you catch my drift. There's the other one, there he is. Yeah, so with a key ring, there's, there's always justification to keep it. It's weird how my head works, I know, but that's just how it is. Okay, so that's set off that firework thing. It should be down here somewhere. The ice thing's running out. Yeah, here it is, good. Okay, how many more? Uh, 31. That's where that tree thing was. Did I miss one over there or something? Is this? Yeah, here's some. Yeah, because I, di I didn't get these before because I was because I was following that agent thing with a ponytail. No, I just need um, 11 more. Yeah, because that was 20, wasn't it? Actually, there might have been more over here that I missed because of that agent thing hiding behind the tree. Let's go. Uh, let's go up the steps again. No, there's nothing here. No. Okay. Where am I going? Phew, that was close. 
take the whirlwind back. Right, there's 11 more gems around here somewhere. And I bloody well don't know where they are. Let's try near the start. No, it's another sheep. It's weird how the plural of uh, sheep is the same word. It is weird. Um, maybe I can put out that fire with the ice, but I doubt it. Okay, we have to use sparks. You have no idea where they are. Spark says they're I'm over there. Well, that would uh, lend a credence to the to the ice theory. Maybe it is that. Okay, we got all of them, didn't we? Yeah. It might be actually. Weirdly, it might be freezing that. I'll, I'll just go and get the freezer power up and then go and do that, actually, because it's not too far away. It might be that, although I I still sort of doubt it. No, I didn't want to do that. Oh, yes, yes, I did. I can just go down there, can't I? Let's go in this whirlwind quickly. Quickly, the freezer's running out. Come on. That's it, good. Let's go through here, then down here. That's it. Okay, here it is. Is this going to work? Now, it's a long shot to begin with. Long shot to begin with. Right. There's 11 more gems around here somewhere. I'll be damned if I know where they are. Where are they, Sparks? This way, he says. Right. That way, he says. Sparks says they're up. Oh, 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 okay. I, I did not notice them. That is very strange. I'll have to go the other way. There's a, yeah, there's a, uh, one of those, uh, one of those yellow barrel things just over there. Although it's sort of awkward to get to. Um, okay. Let's go up here. I have to get it from this bridge. Okay, yeah, it's two over here. Okay, that's one. Okay, give me that. Good. Right, okay, that's five. I assume there's five in the other one, which still leaves one missing. So I'm still looking out for one more. Good. Right. Good, it's falling down. Okay, now, one more. Oh, 399. Right, Spark says it's over there. Yeah, it's over there apparently. Okay. Yeah. Down there. I think I have an idea where it is. Yeah, I think I know where it is. Oh. Yeah, I need to go back up there again with those first things. Okay, turn into platforms for me. Yeah, there it is, yeah. Excellent, good, that's that done. Okay, let's get out of here. Using the normal exit. Let's leave with the uh with the freeze power up, good. Yeah, yeah. If if there's just one left, then you know you've just missed one in somewhere you've already been an obvious one, so but those other two in those in those barrel things, 
if they were harder, I needed sparks for them. I never would have guessed. <laughs> it's quite funny. Okay, so in theory, that yeah, we just yeah, that's everything done now. We just need to do Ripto now. Yep, 5,500 gems. That's all the gems collected. Okay, so let's have a look at the guidebook. Okay, just Ripto's Arena to do. I think this is it. In the next video, we'll be completing the game. Yeah. I like the mystical music around here. Not really music, but sort of like ethereal noise around here. It's quite nice. Yeah, so next video we'll be doing Ripto. It gives us a whole video to concentrate on the boss instead of just you know doing it at the end and trying to hurry up. So yeah, we've done everything at Summer Forest and the Autumn Plains. And we've done everything in Winter Tundra. Just Ripto's Arena to do. So let's save the game and that's the end of this video. Um... Yep, save over this one. Okay, we're at 96% now, so that gave us an extra 3%. Uh, yep. Okay, so the last 4% must be uh, doing Ripto, and I assume there's another one of those... I can't remember, there must be another one of those uh, gem levels, like at the end of the first Spyro. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Next video, we'll be completing the game. So thanks a lot, and goodbye.